I love history. I love finding out about how our ancestors lived and the knowledge they had all those years ago. Finding everything out is kind of like a detective game. However, sometimes we can't solve what they left behind for us. We often find messages and their meanings are hidden from us. Sometimes they're just lost in the sands of time. Sometimes they're hidden for a reason. I'm Danny Burke and this is the top 10 hidden messages found in ancient ruins. You may also like our secret messages from the past video, similar topic, whole bunch of different stories for you. For now though, we are getting into our number 10 with the Rongo Rongo writing. 26 tablets were found on the remote Easter Island, thousands of miles out in the Pacific Ocean. Written on them were glyphs which historians have not been able to decipher since they were discovered over 150 years ago. The images are shaped like humans, animals, plants and geometric patterns. Every single symbol contains a head that is facing up, forward or to the right. Each one is about a centimeter meter high. That's pretty much all we know though. It's thought that the writing may contain clues as to how the civilization that lived there ended up collapsing. Okay, at number 9 now we have the Sophatic Rock Scripts. In Jordan's Black Desert, among the scorched sand, lie some rocks with very strange writing on them left by people who lived there over 2,000 years ago. They contain images of horses, antelopes, lions and birds. Archaeological evidence also seems to show these people had access to abundant water. If you look around the desert there now, none of that is there. The writing belongs to a language family known as Safaitic script. It's an almost haunting discovery to find this in the middle of the desert, ancient writing of a world that has since vanished. Ok, next up at number 8 now we have the Comox Valley Pebbles. In 2016, archaeologists were working at a Comox First Nation tribal site on Vancouver Island. Now among a lot of the finds there, they found 80 pebbles with inscriptions on them. Each one had a symbol of either a tree, a feather or the sign for fertility. They are thought to be over 2 2000 years old, but other than that, the archaeologists don't really know what the patterns mean. To find so many of them indicates the symbols did hold some great importance to the people who lived there, but their meaning still eludes us. Next up at number 7 now, we have the tourist. In July 2017, Polish archaeologists found messages carved into the walls of the tombs at the Valley of the Kings, written by tourists. That's right, the 2000 year old scribbles were written in ancient Greek and were left there by Greek philosophers who were following Plato. The writing was mainly reviews of what the tourists thought of the tombs there. Kind of like a 2000 year old Yelp review. Little did they know that these reviews would be read 2000 years in the future. Coming at number 6 now we have the sword. In 1825 a strange sword with a cryptic code on it was found in an English river. The now 800 year old sword had an 18 long string of letters on its blade and nobody knows what it says. Some have said the sword shows viking origins while others say it's more medieval European. The sword now lies in the British library's Magna Carta exhibition and they have been appealing for anyone out there trying to help them decipher the message. Moving on to number 5 we have the Zhuangzhou relics. China has had civilizations living there for a very long time. In 2013, archaeologists digging at the Zhuangzhou relic site made a shocking discovery. They found artifacts with 5,000 year old inscriptions on them. That's about 1,400 years older than what they thought was the most ancient written Chinese language. Experts studying the text think they found a 6 word string of shapes strung together to make a a sentence, but it will be a long way to discovering the hidden message this writing holds. I think everyone will be fascinated though to discover what the text says because it is just so old. Think about it, when it was written there were actually still mammoths walking the earth. How's that for a mind blow? Next up at number 4 now we have the Rosetta Stone. The meaning of this stone isn't hidden anymore, but it's too good to leave off the list. The block of granite was discovered in 1799 and was found to be from Egypt's Ptolemy dynasty, almost 2000 years old. The text at the top was written in ancient Egyptian using hieroglyphs. Now at the time of its discovery, nobody knew how to translate Egyptian hieroglyphs. It was a language lost in time. However, the Rosetta Stone also contained another text at the bottom. It appeared to be exactly the same message, but written in ancient Greek, a language that is very much understood. Armed with this, experts began to decode the hidden meanings of the hieroglyphs and translate every piece of writing they could find. Alright, at number 3 now guys, we have the Makeva writing. Now a Makeva is an ancient Jewish ritual bath. Many of them have been found in Israel, but one in particular has archaeologists stumped. One of these baths was found in Jerusalem in 2015. It's thought to be about 2000 years old and contains a number of words and symbols on the wall there that have not not yet been deciphered. There's images of boats and palm trees scattered all over the wall. Some of the letters are in Aramaic, the language that Jesus spoke. They also date to around the same time he lived. Experts say this is a very significant find. They just want to understand the message. Moving on to the number 2 spot now, we have the Shugborough inscription. In the grounds of England's Shugborough Hall, you'll find 
find an 18th century monument commissioned by a man called Thomas Anson. On it, there's an inscription of two lines. First line reads O U O S V A V V, while the second is a D and an M separated by a large space. It's believed that this is a Latin inscription of sorts, but nobody knows anything more than that. Countless people have tried to decipher this over the years. Even men like Charles Darwin and Charles Dickens have tried and they failed. It looks like this cryptic message will never be decoded, but that doesn't stop many people from trying even to this day. And finally at number one now guys, we have the Indus script. Experts know that the Indus Valley people and their culture were the precursor to many of the cultures and languages found throughout India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Malaysia. So you think that everyone would know how to read their language right? Wrong. Over 4,000 items have been found with the Indus language on it, mainly ranging from four and a half to 4,000 years old. Experts have yet to understand what any of them mean. The problem is, the length of the average script they find is so short that they can't study it for repeated patterns to try and figure out what the symbols mean. Alright guys, thanks for watching this. I hope you all found that as interesting as I did. Make sure you are subscribed if this is your first time watching one of our videos. Thanks if you already are. My name is Danny Burke. Have a lovely day everyone and I'll see you all in the next video. If this video was your kind of thing, you may also love one of these. Our top 10 scary messages from the past and our top 10 scary messages found in a bottle. They're both great, they're both scary. Check them out.